Robert Cialdini wrote the definitive book about influence. He identified six laws of influence. Firstly, reciprocity. Reciprocity is when you give something in full expectation that you'll get something in return. It's the basis of our entire economic system. I'll give you money and you give me goods. When it comes to sales, we have to be very careful about reciprocity. There is an expectation amongst some potential customers that they will repay you with custom one day. And in the meantime, they can ask you for almost limitless amounts of favors, samples, even free consultancy. Consistency is as important in sales as it is in the world of politics. Now, all politicians will go to the ends of the earth to prove to people that what they're saying now is exactly the same as what they've always said. The reason they do this is because consistency builds trust. Trust builds relationships and relationships build careers. That's why in the world of business to business sales, it's really important that you maintain a consistent image to your customers. Authority. In Cialdini's world, Authority was all about people in uniforms ordering others around with almost total impunity, no matter how strange the requests. As long as they were dressed in what appeared to be a uniform, that implied knowledge or power, such as a police uniform or a scientist's white coat. This is different in the majority of customer relationships. The typical place where that type of situation can occur is when there are legal or regulatory issues to be handled. Under these circumstances, there's an absolute authority that has to be followed, and whoever has the expertise gets to call the shots. So make sure you have the expertise or can access it. It gives you a strong advantage in the relationship. There are four elements to the idea of liking things in the world of influence. Number one, similarity. We like people similar to us in terms of interests, opinions, personality, background, etc. It's best expressed by understanding the industry jargon, being a member of the right industry forums and organizations, and being tolerant of other people's views and opinions. Two, compliments. We love to receive praise and tend to like those who give it. When psychologists studied what motivated team members more at work, a small pay rise, or their boss noticing them and complimenting their work, guess which one was the most powerful? Contact and cooperation or familiarity. We feel a sense of community when working with others to fulfill a common goal. We are a herd animal and being able to bond over a shared task is a very strong indicator of being well thought of. Consider this example. Someone walks up to you and gives you $5. You'd be grateful, but slightly suspicious. But if the same person walked up to you and helped you unload a sofa that was being delivered to your house, you'd be much more grateful and friendly towards them. Having that shared task makes all the difference. Conditioning and association. We associate good things with whatever they're next to. It's why celebrity endorsements work. Social proof. The internet runs on social proof and it's why social networking sites are so powerful. Again, it seems to go back to us being an animal that lives in groups. If we see other members of the group doing something, we automatically take an interest and want to try it ourselves. There has never actually been a shortage of toilet paper. That may shock you, but it's the truth. So what did cause the great toilet paper disaster of early 2020? It was the scarcity effect. Somewhere, someone thought they'd better buy an extra few rolls because they didn't want to be going out during a lockdown. Then another person saw them do that and social proof kicked in again, and so they did the same. Then the afternoon shoppers turned up and saw that the shelves were a little bit empty. They assumed that toilet paper was in short supply, so they bought a little bit extra, and that stripped the shelves. And the next shoppers in through the doors were into full scarcity mode. They would do anything for toilet paper. So next, the kitchen towel disappeared, and the whole event was kicked off. According to supermarket analysts, the whole thing happened because of an increase in demand of around 10% over a very short period of time. So there you have the levers of influence reciprocity, consistency, authority, liking, social proof, and scarcity. Use your knowledge of these factors to help you build relationships, progress your sales projects.